A matter of Elden Ring is your first Souls game, or you're a veteran, something is very different to the other games and potentially counterintuitive to many people. What if I told you leveling vigor is the best way to go? And I know you've probably seen plenty of videos on the topic and those videos have good arguments, like the fact that a game of this size means end game damage has to be higher, because otherwise low vigor would be viable and high vigor would basically be god mode. But that's not what I'm going to be talking about in this video. The ideal approach to Elden Ring is seeing your stats as an unlock mechanic, to use a weapon, and your weapon upgrades as an actual damage boost. As shown in this video I made, upgrading your weapon from 0 to max level makes a deal more than 4 times the base damage, while leveling from 20 to 99 in a stat gives you only 66% damage increase based on the base damage. To save you from having to look at too many numbers or do math yourself, here's a quick testing and here's the summary of it. Basically, level your weapon up before you level anything else because the damage increase is not worth it otherwise. And all of that is before resistances, buffs and talismans are applied, so it can go way further beyond. So how do I suggest you approach leveling an Elden Ring? Well, leveling stats before upgrading a weapon has minimal to no effect, so you really should dump levels into Vigor early on and only level a stat if you need it to use a weapon that you want to use. Once you've reached the requirements, go back to leveling Vigor until you get it to like 40, 50, maybe 60. The damage comes from upgrading a weapon and getting a stat to 60, 80 or 99 should be an endgame or NG plus goal. By leveling Vigor you make sure you are equipped for everything the game has to offer, so for everyone, be it new or returning, make sure to upgrade your weapons and level your Vigor. Thanks for watching.